Hey everybody, Matt Townsend here for your tip of the week. And we've got an interesting idea here. How do we reignite the spark in your relationship? How do we bring back the fire? Do you remember those days? Hmm, think about them for a minute when you just used to connect. Well, what I found is the best way to reignite some of these sparks is to go back to when it works. So we are going to take a journey back. And if you remember back in your dating days, you used to talk and laugh a whole lot more than you do now. In fact, uh, most couples just don't even have time anymore to talk, right? We're too worn out. We, and when we talk, we fight. We talk about things that aren't, uh, that aren't necessarily invigorating and exciting. And so your assignment, uh, if you so choose to accept it, to reignite the spark in your marriage is to start talking and laughing more. Be more curious about each other. Nowadays, we, we already know our partner's stories. I've been out to dinner with friends where the husband will start telling one of his famous funny stories and the wife's like, no, 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 you've already told him this. Just move on. Okay, just move on. Um, at some point, we got to get the funny back in and maybe we need to start listening for new stories. Maybe we start, need to start finding the funny. Uh, I have these silly little um, calendar that has pictures of really bad family pictures, okay? And they're just absolutely hilarious. So I like to take them home and show my wife. I show everybody around the office because it just makes me laugh about families that are a little messed up. You've seen those pictures. And um, if we can get a good laugh about that, the interesting thing is that creates chemistry. It relaxes us. People are attracted to people that can laugh. And so what if we could get more funny into your life? What if we, as a couple, went on a date and went and saw a comedy club or went and saw a comedy act and, and literally got to unwind with some laughing? What if we uh, found some more funny things? What if we went to some funnier movies? There's a lot of ways to get the funny back in your life and to also get more talking. Start being more curious about your partner. Go get one of the books. There's books out there about the 150 questions you need to ask somebody before you marry them. Hey, I suggest you go get that right now and ask them now that you've been married 20 years. You'd be amazed about what you don't know about your partner. Do you know what their favorite color is? Do you know what their most embarrassing moment in life was? Do you know what their biggest fears are? Those are, those are great topics that we could be discussing and creating and having these conversations. If we could get the funny back into our lives, you're going to also get closeness and intimacy the similar chemistry that's created when we're laughing, those endorphins that make us feel so good, that is part of feeling love with each other. And a lot of us have just let those endorphins and that chemistry fade. Life is much more than about all the serious stuff that we're, we're doing in our lives. It's really not, how, your life does not really need to be as serious as we make it. So your homework assignment is start finding the funny. Start doing, going out on dates where you can make more funny. Start sharing jokes. Start telling the funniest thing that happened in your life. And when you do that, you're going to start to create a closeness. So don't just look for the funny, but also look how being, having fun together, laughing together can also bring you closer together. That is my tip for the week. Take it seriously. Get out there, change your relationships, and keep listening to Matt Townsend.